Hello everyone, am I audible and visible? Let me know. Am I audible and visible? Let me check then we'll start the class. <coughs> Let me check, am I audible or not? Am I audible and visible? Let me know, then we'll start. <coughs> Hello everyone, welcome to An Academy Future Doctor. I am myself Dr. Deepthi Karya. I am MD PhD Physiology and I am your faculty for Physiology. Now let me explain some things about our subscription as well as some announcements. Okay. You will be having your NEET PG 2022 All India Mock Test that is scheduled on 26 Feb at 9 am. So this is your final chance before the final exam. You can compete and test your preparation to enroll now for the same. Okay. Here, all India mock test need PG 2022. Pattern and question predictive of main exam. You'll be having analytics to showcase valuable insights, solutions and options for conceptual and clinical learning, video solutions by India's top educator. Okay. Tap on the link in bio to enroll for the same. Another important announcement here is we have our crack need PG with combat that is scheduled on February 19 and at 6 p.m. Okay, this is for op orthopedics, obstetrics, surgery, and pediatrics. Okay, so you can enroll now for the same. Very important another announcement that is. You can unlock 20, means you can get 20% discount on all the subscriptions plus as well as Iconic. Okay? And this offer ends today, 16th Feb, midnight. Okay, so get the subscription. You can use my code with P10. Instead of 10%, you will get 20% discount. So please grab this opportunity. Okay? These are our subscriptions plus and Iconic and these are the rates of the subscriptions. In plus subscription, your access to the best, uh, you can choose the best from the best. You can access both live and recorded classes. You can study in the device of your choice. You can learn from India's top educators for your medical exams. You can compete in the live test and quizzes. You can access question bank, which is having more than 25,000 <clears throat> questions. In iconic subscription, here, your access to the best from two of the best and they have one is on academy and trap lighter with on academy here all the features i have explained and second that is on academy and trap ladder with trap ladder here you can have clinical and integrated essentials video lectures from the dream team question bank three with active guidance system tags and more rapid division and snapshots and treasures and 2021 dream notes these are our fmg december 2021 toppers also, this kind of schedules we have. You can see here various dates are there and various schedules are there on 9th Feb, on 11th Feb. You can say 9th Feb, need PG, previous year question, 10th, 11th. So, these are different schedules. Also, we have added certain features in a special class. That is, we made the class interactive and live. You can poll for the learner. You can have a facility of raise a hand. You can never miss a class as you are always notified for your class. <clears throat> you can get PDF notes for the class and you can attend your class at anywhere and at any time. Here also, we have NEET PG 2022 All Educator Revision Batch which is started uh, from 21st May. That is for three months and NEET PG Ultra Fast Revision Batch started from 16. That is going to start from 16th Feb. That is for 15 days. Need PG 2022 previous year question batch from 16th Feb. That is for 15 years. Need PG 2022 image based question batch from 16th Feb. That is also for 15 days. 
फोकस एफ एम जी डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव बैच फ्रॉम सिक्सटीन फेब टू अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू दैट इज फॉर नाइन मंथ एंड फोकस एफ एम जी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव another as i told you you can unlock 20 20% off on all the neat pg subscriptions you can see here these are the subscription rates regular prices plus offer prices this you can see your savings here these are all the prices okay and this offer valid till february 2022 okay so grab this opportunity you can use my code dipti10 okay and get not 10% but you will get 20% discount you can subscribe from your mobile either plus or iconic subscription use my code to get extra discount okay another announcements are uh we have all india mock test that is on 26 feb for at 9 am uh, another thing is you can also join the quiz and uh, uh here you can see how to join the quiz i will show you you just select the option of join a quiz and uh, here this is not the code today's code is 227511 so so then you enter this code and you can join the quiz okay 227511 quiz for cell physiology i have created okay now also you can boost your neat pg preparation with the amazing offer you can buy 3 month subscription today and 1 month subscription extra okay now now we will discuss today's topic that is vector cardiography Okay, now what is this vector cardiogram? One of the very important thing here to remember. So, what is vector? Whenever during cardiac cycle, whenever electrical potential or electricity or a wave of depolarization or you can say current flows. So, this current flows in the heart at every instant, at every second, this flow changes, and this gives you direction. of vector okay now this magnitude and direction of the potential which is generated suppose at particular time this this potential is only this much so this is the magnitude if it is this much so the magnitude is more and direction you can see here directions are also different like this like this all we will discuss so this two things magnitude and direction of potential which is generated it is represented in the form of arrow okay and the arrow head the head of the arrow you can see here this is the head of the arrow head of the arrow points you can see here just a minute arrow head points you can see this one towards the direction of the potential which passes and second thing is this is head of the arrow and the length of the arrow whether it is short long or longest it is proportionate to the voltage okay voltage is more length would be more so this arrow has two characteristic one is magnitude is length that depends on voltage okay and direction arrow head that depends on the direction of the wave of depolarization which passes okay now next is uh you can see here direction of electrical potential this hmm, during most of the cardiac cycle okay this direction of electrical potential that is always from you can see negative to positive side you can see here if this is negative so negative to positive this way okay and you can say generally it is from base to apex side this is the base and this is the apex so this is from base to apex okay 
mean QRS vector. Mean means average. Suppose at a particular instant, all this electrical activity is generated. So what? How can we get the exit activity? That is, we are getting mean. Okay. So what is this mean QRS vector? The perpendicular direction of the potential during depolarization. Okay. Perpendicular. direction of potential okay that is mean axis hmm? and this mean axis is also from base to apex so this is the direction okay so this is your vector cardiogram this is general thing about vector cardiogram now this instant vector what is the meaning of instant vector you can see here there are there are so many vectors you can find why this is instant because electricity changes at every second. Okay. So, suppose this is 1. So, this vector direction is here. Immediately after few seconds, it becomes 2, becomes 3, 4. So, this is instant. Okay. So, at particular time when we are recording, which type of arrow, which direction of arrow and magnitude we find. That is your instant vector. Okay, here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this figure shows instant vectors during different instances. Then suppose at point one second you have this arrow. Then point two second this arrow may changes. So it will not be steady as your heart is uh, contracting, relaxing. So depolarization, depolarization. So that is continuously changes. So you won't find exact vector. Okay, so instant vector represents magnitude and direction of potential at particular instant, at particular time. Okay, so calculating, uh, for, first of all, in normal heart, direction of vector, okay, during spread of depolarization of the wave, that is mean, that is mean QRS vector. And in lead 2, this is in the same direction of your factor of the heart. And this is 59 degree. Okay. So, in normal heart, average direction of the vector during spread of depolarization wave through ventricle. When depolarization wave spreads through the ventricle, what is the direction of vector? It is 59 degrees. So, in this value you have to remember. Very important thing. Then only we can come to know that whether there is shift to right or shift to left. Okay. We will discuss now. So, mean electrical axis that means mean vector which is produced during the cardiac cycle. Mean average vector. Hmm? Average of all which is created mean or average factor okay in the frontal plane this is calculated by two standard limb leads or augmented leads usually we use to calculate mean electrical axis i will i will to i will discuss how to calculate mean electrical axis okay so for that we use one and three leads standard limb leads i think all of you are knowing what are standard limb, uh, standard limb leads? You know, bipolar leads 1, 2 and 3. From which we require these two leads. To find out mean electrical axis in the frontal plane. We will discuss how. And in horizontal plane. Hmm, frontal in the front. Horizontal like horizontal like this. Okay. So, in the horizontal plane, this mean electrical axis that is recorded with the help of precordial leads. Precordial leads or another name for the precordial leads that is chest leads. So, chest lead helps to find out mean electrical axis in the horizontal plane. And in the frontal plane, plane we use lead 1 and lead 3 that is bipolar limb leads how that we will discuss okay so 
here triaxial reference system. Triaxial means into one's triangle is there. Okay. So this is sorry, this is not properly drawn. So triax into one's triangle means it involves the sides of this into one's triangle. Okay, one, two, and three here. So that these sides, you can see they are intersecting in the center. And by this way, we can get the direction of vector. How I will just explain you. But this system for calculation of mean electrical axis. That is known as triaxial reference system. Okay, I will discuss in detail. Okay, now very important thing we are coming is now let us you, you can discuss here. You can see this thing is given nicely here. This are I think all of you are knowing lead one, two, three, hmm? ABF, AVL, AVR. So always as I told you, electricity or the direction of the vector that is from negative to positive. So here you can see negative and positive for lead one. So, what is the axis of lead one like this one? Negative to positive. So, direction of arrowhead is in this direction. This is zero degree. Okay. And as you go this direction, you will be having plus. This is plus 90. You can see. This is minus 90. These are just normal. I am telling you. This is your one. Sorry, 180. Now, we discuss about axis of various leads okay so you can see here suppose first i will discuss about axis of lead one this one lead one this the axis is zero degree hmm? this one okay then axis of lead two i think all of you are knowing lead lead one negative electrode is attached with the right arm you can see in this diagram also and positive to the left arm. Then in lead 2. So the direction is. Although it is like this. But the direction is like this. You can see here. You can see here. What happens in lead 2. Hmm? Negative terminal is to the right arm. And positive to the left foot. This So this is the direction of lead 2. Hmm? This one. Then lead 3. So this is 60 degree. Then lead 3. Negative terminal is attached with the left arm here. And positive to the left foot. But the direction is like this one. This is 120 degree. Okay. So you can see here. So these are the average. Uh, you can say degrees of various leads. Lead 1, 2 and 3. Okay. Then comes. But ABF, you can see here the same thing. This is ABF, augmented lead. Okay. Here you can see in augmented lead, as I told you, that how can we create augmented lead? Suppose if it is ABF, means to the foot. Okay. We are connecting positive terminal. So here is the positive, and here is the negative. So this is the direction. And the direction is 90 degree. You can see here. Okay. Then lead A, V, R. R means, you can see here, right arm connected to positive. And other is negative. So this is the direction. And the direction and the axis is 210. If you are drawing it in such a way, I will just show you. This is your 0 plus, you can see here. This is your 90, sorry, minus 90. This is your plus 90. This is 180. Okay. And then after 180, this, this side, this is 210. Hmm? Then axis of lead AVL. What is the axis of AVL? You can see here. In AVL, if you remember, to the left arm, positive terminal is attached. So the direction, as I told you, from negative to positive. So this is negative and this is positive. So the direction is minus 30 degrees. You can see here. So these are the mean electrical axis of various limb leads. We have discussed limb leads and augmented leads. Okay. 
okay fine now how can we calculate this mean electrical axis of qrs complex okay by by using standard leaf this is one of the very important diagram if you can remember this you can easily find out hmm? as i told you direction of lead one is zero just you just draw direction we require only two leads lead one and lead three okay so you can see here i have drawn this lead one lead one direction is zero degree okay and lead three direction that is normal direction that is 120 degree okay as we have discussed okay hmm. now what we have to do is suppose this is your qrs complex okay please pay attention here then only you can be able to understand how to calculate suppose in your qrs complex hmm, q is negative so always if the wave is negative write down minus sign and if the wave is positive write down plus sign so r as plus s is again negative so suppose if you have calculated here q has three three small squares so write down minus three here suppose you have counted how many small squares are here that is three okay then r has 13 small square write down 13 here and s has five small square so write down minus five because it is negative okay so total algebraic summation of this in lead one is five millivolts so what you have to do is you just start from the center make a point here at five if you are drawing this on the graph paper it will be easy for you okay at one two three four and five you make a dot here okay then again in lead three sorry this is lead three not two typing mistake you can see here suppose q wave is point one millivolt one small square so write down minus one because negative wave r has 15 small squares write down plus 15 so minus one plus 15 s is not there s has zero then minus zero so your algebraic summation is 14 okay so make here point at 14 here one point at 14 here one point at 5 and draw perpendicular line from this two and when your perpendicular where your perpendicular lines meet make a point and draw an arrow from the center here you can see and this arrow direction and magnitude denotes your vector average vector am i clear to all how to calculate vector hmm? am i clear so i tried to explain how to calculate mean vector okay fine now uh, this is uh, something regarding you can say that calculating mean electrical axis from standard lead electrocardiogram qrs magnitude is plotted along this this i have already discussed i am not going in detail that length and direction of the arrow that denotes the mean electrical axis okay now we discuss what is this axis deviation now you can see here very important thing is coming this is your normal axis and as i told you 60 degree but this normal mean electrical axis of your heart is between you can see here this one hmm? sorry here it is between minus 30 degree to plus 120 degree. this is normal maximum okay when it is more than 120 degree to 180 degree this one or you can say between seven o'clock and nine o'clock in the clock then this is known as the right axis deviation okay this is your right axis deviation now what are the causes for right axis deviation hmm? they are one is sometimes if physiological causes first we discuss physiological causes physiological causes are at the end of deep inspiration okay that is one second when the person 
stands up. Okay. And when the person is tall, okay, then because the heart hangs down. Now, pathological causes for this are pathological causes. They are in right ventricular hypertrophy. When the right ventricle gets hypertrophied, then what happens? That uh, electrical events, they cannot reach to right ventricle at the same time when it reaches to the left ventricle. So, you find right axis deviation. Okay? And secondary to lung disease or pulmonary valve stenosis. Right bundle branch block. Normally, as we know that uh, this electrical activity passes through both the bundle branches at the same time. But if suppose right side block is there, then this delayed activation takes place here. Okay. And in case of posterior or inferior myocardial infarction, posterior part or inferior part of myocardial infarction. Okay. So this way you can, this is just, I'll just show you. You can see this is right axis deviation. You can see this is normal QRS in lead one. In right axis, you can see here S is deeper one. Okay. And in lead two, this kind of wave is there. Then comes left axis deviation. In left axis deviation, what happens here? I will just show you. In left axis deviation, mean electrical axis, you can see, lies between minus 32, minus 90, minus 90 degrees, sorry. That is, you can see, between 2 o'clock and 12 o'clock. And the causes are, physiological causes are at the end of deep hmm, expiration. And in obese individual, in left ventricular hypertrophy, opposite to the right axis deviation, left bundle branch block, anterolateral myocardial infarction. So, these are all the causes. Okay. This is again, you can see, left axis deviation. Now, another important thing here is, uh, what are the different loops you may find? There are three loops are recorded during one cardiac cycle. Okay. So, vector cardiography, what is vector cardiography? That is continuous record of all the vectors that is made with the help of oscilloscope. When with the help of oscilloscope we are recording, we get continuous record of all the vectors. And this record is obtained in the form of a loop. And that is known as vector cardiogram. Okay, it is like same way P wave, QRS. So, P, for P wave we find P loop. QRS wave, this you can see. This is P loop, then QRS and T loop. You can see, I'll just show you. P loop, that is because of same way as atrial depolarization, like P wave. So, P loop is due to atrial depolarization. This is small and it is directed uh, leftwards and inferiorly. You can see here, this is the direction, left and inferior. Hmm? And that is a positive P wave in three bipolar limb loops. Okay. Then QRS loop. This big one is QRS loop. That is because of ventricular depolarization. Okay. And that is directed slightly left, inferior and posterior. Okay. And that is okay, caused by ventricular depolarization. We have discussed. And T loop. That results from ventricular repolarization. That is opposite to the direction of this P wave. Here you can see. Okay. Next small topic is his bundle electrocardiogram. Bundle of his. Only bundle of his electrical activity that is recorded. Recording of electrical activity of the heart obtained through intracardiac ring electrodes. They are placed near the tricuspid valve and we will record only electrical activity of bundle of his okay here three or more standard electrocardiographic leads are recorded simultaneously okay. now you can see here normal in this his bundle electrocardiogram uh, electrocardiogram we have following deflection number one is you can see here a h and v d okay. a deflection that is because of activation of a v node H, that is because of transmission of impulse through bundle of his. And V, that is because of ventricular depolarization. Okay. Now, 
here what is the use of his bundle uh, bundle electrocardiogram that is useful in the patients having heart block most common block is block at the atrioventricular bundle so to find out this block we have to perform this his bundle electrocardiogram okay now here you can see there are three intervals which are important one is pa interval that is the interval between the appearance of depolarization this p wave and this a okay so this denotes your time conduction of conduction time from sa node to av node and normal duration you can remember 27 milliseconds okay then next is a h interval you can see here between a and h that is time from a wave to the start of h spike and that represents a v <coughs> nodal conduction time that is for 92 milliseconds okay and higher the value of a h it shows slow the conduction if it is more than 92 then it shows slow conduction then h v interval that is this one it is the time from the start of H spike to the start of QRS complex or ventricular depolarization. And that represents conduction by the bundle of his and bundle branches. And normal interval, you can remember, that is 43 milliseconds. Okay. So, this is about his bundle mm -hmm. electrocardiogram. So, this is today we have completed the topic vector cardiogram. Okay. Thank you so much. If you like my video, you can like it. You can share with all your friends and you can subscribe our channel on Academy Future Doctors. Another more important announcement here is from tomorrow onwards, my live classes, they are at 9 p.m. Okay, stay connected.